One thing we know for sure about the world today is that our water can get very dirty. Some nations and corporations dump into our oceans and rivers, and then it's up to other people to drain out canals, lakes, and reservoirs to give them a cleanup every once in a while. I don't think the system works, but it turns out that once the water's been drained, people sometimes find things that are a whole lot weirder than just regular trash. From the Paris Canal that held incredible treasures from the past, to the World War II weapon dropped in an LA lake, here's 20 bizarre discoveries found in drained water bodies. <sighs> Number 20. Hidden Treasures of Paris Canal St. Martin Discovered Napoleon ordered the Canal St. Martin in Paris to be finished in 1825, so that the growing French capital would have more disease-free drinking water. It hasn't been cleaned since 2001. Since then, two big changes have happened near the canal in the 10th arrondissement of Paris. The first was the influx of many new restaurants, cafes, bars, and tourists in the area. The second was the start of the Lib, the city's main bike-sharing service, which has more than 20,000 public bikes and 1,800 stations. Which reveals a lot about the trash that was found at the bottom of the Canal St. Martin when it was cleaned recently. There were a lot of abandoned Velib bikes and a lot of dirty wine and beer bottles and cans from the new nightlife by the canal. There were also shopping carts, motorbikes, chairs, radios, public trash cans, rolled up carpets, a fire extinguisher, a baby stroller, umbrellas, street signs, suitcases, at least one gun, which police were luckily there to collect. Even more interesting souvenirs were found in 2001, such as a toilet bowl, a bathtub, gold coins, coins, a car, and two shells from World War I. Before we go on, like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. There have been worries for a while in Asia that China's crazy experiments with new technology have taken water pollution to a whole new level. And with billions of people living in Asia but outside of China, it's other countries who have to suffer. The most terrifying evidence of this came recently from Thailand, when scientists drained a canal and found a new species of totally mutant fish down there. This is the only photo we have of the incident. Scientists' terrifying new discovery hidden under this canal changes everything. And the reason is that allegedly, these fish could talk. They died soon after, but were able to mutter a few words in Mandarin. No one who was there actually understood the language though, so we'll never know what they said. Do you think humans are causing other species to evolve more rapidly? What would a fish say if it could talk to us? As always, comment down below with the hashtag RareTopic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 19. Weapons of Muck Destruction Found in Echo Park Lake Drain Back in 2012, a collection of soggy weapons were put on display at a meeting about the progress of a project to fix up Echo Park Lake. Even though it wasn't clear how long the guns had been underwater, at least one rifle was thought to be from World War II. During the lake drain, no bodies, or indeed heads without bodies, came to the surface, thankfully. Instead, the silt turned up a bunch of old and relatively boring things. Like the infamous La Brea tar pit, the lake bottom held modern fossils like payphones, toys, shopping carts, hubcaps, traffic cones, a toilet, and hundreds of glass bottles from decades earlier. Echo Park Lake was cleaned up with $65 million in budget, and wetland around the area was redeveloped as part of the process. The project to improve the water quality was finished in May of 2013. Since then, the historic Echo Park Lake on the east side has finally become a place where families can go and enjoy the dramatic view of the downtown skyline against the lotus flower blooms and fountains. Number 18. Shrinking water levels at Lake Powell reveal natural wonders hidden for decades. Some people call Glen Canyon the national park that America forgot. Seeing the cathedral in the desert for the first time is likely to make anyone feel pretty awestruck. It's a kind of big slot canyon, 
but instead of being narrow from top to bottom, it opens into a huge cavern on the canyon floor. A small, peaceful pool is formed by a waterfall that flows over a sandstone shelf, just adding to the ambience here. It's a quiet, sacred space that could easily remind you of a man-made cathedral. It was once thought that Cathedral in the Desert and other natural wonders in Glen Canyon would never be seen again. Back in 1963, the Glen Canyon Dam was built. The Colorado River then started to back up behind the dam. Over the course of 16 years, as the newly formed Lake Powell got higher and higher, these natural wonders went further under the water. Many of the waterfalls, alcoves, and other places in Glen Canyon were flooded. However, due to record-breaking drought in the American West, these places are starting to come back to light once more. Now that water levels are so low, these natural features that used to be underwater can be seen again in many places. So if you're in the area, this is definitely one natural wonder to check out. Number 17. Pistols and a knife found at the bottom of a drained Tempe Town Lake. In 2016, the Tempe Town Lake in Arizona was drained, and police reported that they found a number of weapons at the bottom. When the lake bed was finally dry, police said they found a knife, three pistols, one of which had been stolen, and a piece of another pistol. Officers said that they were looking into the guns to see if they had been used in any other crimes. The lake was drained in March of that year to help finish building a new steel gate dam. It opens and closes with water pressure instead of an inflatable rubber system. The second most popular place to go in Arizona is, in fact, the Tempe Town Lake. The lake is more than two miles long, and it was made by putting a dam across the dry part of the Salt River and filling it with water. The Tempe Town Lake is in the middle of Tempe, and along its edges, a network of paths let people walk, jog, bike, and do other fun stuff. It's also a great place for boats that are run by electricity, wind, or by old-fashioned ore power. Number 16. Frederick Pond being drained in anthrax case investigation. Now we're going back to 2001 and the mysterious anthrax scare that happened then. In 2003, the Postal Inspection Service began draining a pond in the Frederick City watershed. Investigators thought that the pond may hold clues about a series of letters filled with anthrax that killed five people and injured 17 others in 2001. The 2001 anthrax attacks, also called Amerinthrax, happened in the U.S. over the course of several weeks, starting on September 18, 2001, one week after the September 11 terrorist attacks. Anthrax spores were sent in the mail to several news media offices and to Democratic Senators Tom Daschle and Patrick Leahy. The FBI says that the investigation that followed was, quote, one of the largest and most complex in the history of law enforcement. In the early years of the investigation, bioweapons expert Stephen Hatfill was a big focus of interest and considered a prime suspect. But in the end, he was cleared. Around April 4, 2005, Bruce Edward Ivins, a scientist at the government's biodefense labs at Fort Detrick in Frederick, Maryland, came into the spotlight. Ivins was put under regular FBI surveillance on April 11th of 2007, and an FBI document says that he was an extremely sensitive suspect in the 2001 anthrax attacks. Ivins overdosed on Tylenol and killed himself on July 29th of 2008, however. The FBI then finished their report and put all of the blame on him, all of which seems very real and not weird or fishy in any way. Number 15. Underwater Ghost Town. Old Bluffton. In the mid-1800s, stagecoaches stopped in Old Bluffton, which is about an hour's drive north of Austin, Texas. One of the first towns in the Texas Hill Country, it had 50 families and a lot of pecan orchards and cornfields. But all of that was before it became a ghost town sitting deep underwater. When the New Deal was put into place in the early 1930s, one of the projects to be finished was the Buchanan Dam, which brought electricity to the Hill Country. Families slowly started to get ready for the rising water by selling their land to the Lower Colorado River Authority. Officials thought that it would take years for the lake to form after the dam was finished in 1937. 
However, a flood and more than 20 inches of rain caused the lake to fill up in just a few months. Some people weren't able to leave the area completely before the water came in and covered Old Bluffton. The ruins of Old Bluffton are now covered by the huge man-made Lake Buchanan, which is typically about 30 feet deep. A new Bluffton was built seven miles west of its watery predecessor. As of 2001, there's only 269 people living in this tiny unincorporated community in Alano County. Most people just forgot about Old Bluffton until 1948 when a drought hit Texas. As the water in Lake Buchanan went down, old parts of Old Bluffton became visible once more, in a spooky reawakening of the old town. Many parts of the town were in fact preserved by the water. Tourists came to the site to see tombstones and graveyards, the remains of a cotton gin, homes, a local bank, a hotel, and just how they all were back in the 19th century. Number 14. Dinosaur Tracks Revealed in Texas as Severe Drought Dries Up River Dinosaur Valley State Park in Texas has recently found amazing dinosaur tracks that are 113 million years old. Until now, the Palexi River had covered the dino prints. In fact, the last time that they could be seen was in the year 2000. But lately, the river dried up completely, which made it possible to find even more tracks in the park. When the river's at a normal level, these newer tracks are underwater and filled with sediment, so they aren't as visible. Most of the tracks were made by Acrocanthosaurus, a meat-eating dinosaur that lived between 115 and 105 million years ago. During the early Cretaceous period. These dinosaurs had three clawed toes on each foot and walked on two legs. They're about 15 feet tall and could weigh up to seven tons. That's a big lizard. The tracks are called the Lone Ranger Trackway, and there's about 140 of them from this one pretty scary looking species. Number 13. Europe's drought exposes World War II ships, bombs, and prehistoric stones. In Europe in the summer of 2022, weeks of hot, dry weather caused the water level in rivers and in lakes to drop to levels lower than most people remember. This has brought to the surface long buried treasures and some unwanted dangers. In Spain, which went through its worst drought in decades, a prehistoric stone circle called the Spanish Stonehenge that's usually covered by the water of a dam was revealed. Hey, at least this made archaeologists very happy, but it's not so good for thirsty people or anybody who wants a water or just needs water to survive. The stone circle is called the Dolmen of Guadalperal, and it's fully exposed in one corner of the Valle de Canans Reservoir in the central province of Caceres, where the water level dropped to 28% of its capacity, according to the authorities. It was found in 1926 by the German archaeologist Hugo Obermeyer, but the area was flooded in 1963 as a part of a project to improve rural areas while Francisco Franco was in power. Blech. The drought also caused the Danube, another big river in Europe, to drop to one of its lowest levels in almost a century. This has exposed the wrecks of more than 20 German warships that sank during World War II near the Serbian river port town of Prahovo. The ships were among hundreds that Nazi Germany's Black Sea Fleet sunk along the Danube in 1944 as they ran away from advancing Soviet forces. They still get in the way of river traffic today when the water is low enough, so these could actually pose a major problem for shipping in the future. Number 12. Hampstead Heath Pond Draining Reveals Classic Ford Cortina No one knows how this classic car ended up at the bottom of a pond where it might have been resting for years. When this model boating pond was drained, everyone was shocked to see that a Ford Cortina emerged out of the water. The rusty, muddy car looks like it's got one broken window, but the rest of the glass is in place. Some witnesses said that they thought the car had been underwater for at least 25 years. As part of a new project to protect the area from flooding, the pond was temporarily drained. Since 1989, the pond has been run by the City of London Corporation, but no one knows where the car came from. The find was reported to police in case it could be used as proof of a crime. Ron Vester, a photographer who works to protect wildlife, managed to get some snaps. He said at the time, I was watching the pond receding and I started seeing the rim of something. I thought it was a model boat, but it turned out to be a roof of a Ford Cortina, Mark II, I believe. He also said, you can see one of its windows is broken and there's nothing inside of it. Well, I'm glad that most of the window is still there, but I'm guessing it won't turn on the first time you try. Number 11. 
Columbia tank found on lake bed. Now we move on to the ghostly remains of the last great space exploration tragedy, an aluminum tank from the STS-107 mission of the Space Shuttle Columbia was found on the shore of Lake Nacogdoches in East Texas in 2001. The tank and other parts of the Columbia debris will likely be made available to researchers in the future, once any investigations have been complete. During Columbia's 16-day mission, it carried 18 chirogenic tanks, of which this sphere was one. It had been underwater for the previous eight and a half years, having landed there on February 1st of 2003, when the shuttle broke up over East Texas during re-entry. It was found when the lake's water level dropped about 11 feet because of a drought at the time. Cianilli said that the tank doesn't hold anything dangerous, but it might have sharp edges. Pro tip, always wear gloves when digging for random space shuttle debris. In space, the super cold chemicals stored in these tanks powered the shuttle's fuel cells, which made electricity for the spacecraft. All of the shuttles had several tanks built into their fuselages, and Columbia had an extra set in its payload bay so it could stay in space longer than usual for the research flight. During recovery operations, teams found more than 84,000 pieces of the shuttle. This is about 40% of the shuttle recovered, which is pretty impressive. A lot of the wreckage was found near Nakodogches, and the search continues to this very day. Number 10. Long Yu Caves in China Long Yu Caves are a group of 24 man-made caves that are built into the sandstone of Feng Huang Hill in the province of Zhejiang, China. Farmers in the area accidentally found the caves in 1992 when they drained some ponds and found five large man-made caverns and 19 smaller caves. The five separate caverns range in length from 18 to 34 meters, and they reach heights of up to 20 meters. They're held up by pillars and have unique curved shapes that were made by shaking the cavern walls and ceilings. After the news of the discovery spread across China, it was first thought that the caves were a rare natural wonder. Because their design and formation were so different than any other ancient caves, quarries, mines, or even ceremonial caverns built in China in the past. After more research, it was found that each complete cavern only has one entrance, which is a vertical shaft with a carved staircase that lets rainwater and surface runoff into the caverns. In order to collect the water, a system of drainage troughs, draining channels, and a water trap were cut into the base of the cavern. As soon as they were found, archaeologists and academics have been trying to figure out who made the Long Yu Caves, when they were made, and why. Archaeologists have found glazed clay pots in the slit in the floor in the cave. These pots were made during the Western Han Dynasty, which lasted from 206 BC to AD 23. And this means that the caves were built before this time, probably around 2,000 years ago. But the inhabitants remain very mysterious to this day. Who could these cave people have been? Number 9. Underwater railway tracks and submerged forest revealed by draining operation on 100-year-old Washington Reservoir. These are the secrets that a large lake outside of Seattle, Washington, that's more than a mile wide, has kept hidden for over a century. When Lake Taps was filled in 1911 to power a hydroelectric dam, it ate up 4.5 square miles of land including an old railroad track and parts of a forest. We can also see the trash that's ended up in the lake, which is now used for recreation. The lake was drained so the nearby dam, which had a crack in it, wouldn't break. The lake was made when the Puget Sound Energy Company put water in the area to make electricity. Since 2009, when it stopped making electricity, it's been used for fishing, boating, and other water-based activities. One of the things that it hid was an amazing underwater forest. These tree trunks have been sitting in the water for for 104 years, since the lake was flooded. A pretty amazing graveyard for trees. Number eight, drought exposes Roman ruins in Tiber River. In 2022, Italy had its worst drought in 70 years, which showed the piers of an old bridge over the Tiber River that was used by Roman emperors but had fallen into disrepair by the third century. During most of the summer, you could see two piers of Nero's Bridge near Vittorio Emanuele Bridge that crossed the river near the Vatican. These piers are now a pile of moss-covered rocks where seagulls like to sunbathe. Historian Anthony Majanlati says the bridge was built in the first century, so the Emperor Nero could get to his gardens on Janiculum Hill near what's now St. Peter's Square. 
By the end of the 3rd century, the bridge was already fallen apart, so people started using the nearby St. Angelo Bridge instead. This led pilgrims past the Castel St. Angelo to the Vatican. Experts think that Nero's bridge used to have four piers, but Magion Lati says that two of them were taken down in the 19th century so that river traffic could move more quickly. This is another reminder of the endless archaeological treasures of Rome. Number 7. Mormon Island Once Again Visible in Folsom Lake Two months after James Marshall found gold in Coloma and started the gold rush, three Mormon miners found even more gold 25 miles east of Sacramento on the American River. After them, more prospectors came. A lot of them were Mormon, and they started a town that did pretty well during the gold rush. At its peak, there were 2,500 people living on Mormon Island. It was a stop on the stage line between Sacramento and Coloma. There were four hotels, seven saloons, a winery, post office, school, cemetery, and a lot of shops. One of these shops was run by Sam Brannan, who became the first millionaire in California and is credited with spreading the word about the discovery of gold. He later became a senator in the state, but the good times didn't last long. Soon, the newly built Sacramento Valley Railroad reached nearby Granite City, which is now called Folsom, and people just stopped moving there. After most of the city burned down in a fire in 1856, just eight years after it was founded, it was never rebuilt. When Folsom Dam was built in 1955, Folsom Lake filled in what's left of the town. When the lake is low because of a dry year, many of the town's ruins are exposed and can be seen for free. As of January of 2014, the lake was at its lowest level in 37 years. That means that many, but not all, of the ruins in the town can be seen again. A reminder of the great gold rush that made California what it is today. Number 6. Hidden Wonder of India Thousand Shiva Linga Carvings in the River Sahasralinga Karnataka So. This place is one of the most important pilgrimage sites in the whole of India. It's in the town of Sirsi, in the middle of the river Shalmala to be precise. Along the banks of Shalmala River, there's over a thousand Shiva Lingas carved into the rock. From what we know about local history, the King Sadashi Varaya of the Vijayanagar Kingdom put the up to a thousand Lingas between 1678 and 1718. What makes these different is that each one has a carving of Nandi the bull right in front. On Maha Shivatri, a religious holiday, people from all over the country come to the place to do worship on these amazing carvings. When you see so many lingas playing hide and seek with the river water, the place looks both mysterious and beautiful at the same time. The sizes and shapes of these lingas are all different. Due to the force of the river water, some of these lingas have worn away, while others have been carried away by the current or have just been completely ruined. If you want to see this miracle, then you should only go to the spot when the water level is low, because otherwise the lingas can't be seen. Number 5. Anasazi Ruins at Lake Powell about 170 million years ago, dinosaurs lived in a low, flat area where rivers and small lakes provided water. Over time, sediment covered the bones and tracks of these animals. This sediment later turned into rock. In some places, fossils formed, giving us a record of how big lizards lived back then. At the same time, strong forces from inside the earth pushed the area up, making a high plateau. As the land rose, the constantly flowing river cut deep, rough canyons like the Grand Canyon and the nearby Glen Canyon, where Lake Powell is now. In the historic canyons of the Escalante arm of the lake, both dinosaur tracks and Anasazi homes have been found. As the lake level slowly rose, the National Park Service used a famous old boat called the Elysi M to save and protect the fragile dinosaur footprints, as well as the Anasazi ruins, both of which add something very special to this mysterious and ancient place. Number 4. North Dakota Drought Exposes 130-Year-Old Shipwreck 
1892, as the Abner O'Neill was going down the Missouri River, it sank. Nearly 130 years later, the shipwreck is still at the bottom of the river in North Dakota, and archaeologists recently found the ship's remains when the water level went down. The steamship was built in 1884, and it took grain from Washburn to Bismarck Mandan. Eight years later, the Abner O'Neill was carrying 9,000 bushels of buckwheat between Washburn and Mandan when it hit a snag or a rock and started to sink. The website of the State Historical Society of North Dakota says that the boat and everything on it were lost. Since it sank, the ship has remarkably stayed mostly intact, making this a pretty epic time capsule. Number 3. Drought Reveals Ancient Stonehenge-Like Monument in Ireland In 2018, Ireland had the worst drought on record, which made it possible to see a monument that had been hidden for centuries. Because of the lack of rain, the Irish fields were dying up. An unexpected result of this was that the shapes of old monuments could be seen again. This is because the monument's foundations hold more water and are better at keeping plants alive in hot weather. So, the grass above them stays green while everything else around them turns brown. This new structure is a henge, which is similar to the well-known Stonehenge in Wiltshire, England. The shapes of the building show that it was about 40 meters across. New Grange, a passage tomb with intricate carvings that was once used for burials and worship, is now one of the most popular tourist spots in the country, and also in the area. Get this, it's older than both Stonehenge and the Pyramids of Giza. It was built about 5,200 years ago. Number 2. Bombay Beach Town before the 1980s, Bombay Beach was a popular place for beachgoers to go. However, as the Salton Sea dried up and became more salty, it destroyed the ecosystem of the lake and it drove businesses and private landowners out of the area, turning Bombay Beach into a total ghost town. But even so, by 2018, a number of people had moved into the area, and the town's many abandoned buildings and other reminders of its past have brought people back again. Since the only gas station is 20 miles away in Nilin, most of the few people that live there use golf carts to get around. The Bombay Beach Drive-In is an art installation made up of old, abandoned cars and a drive-in theater. So it looks like Bombay is back and it's a hip place to be again. Number 1. World War II Bomber Crash Site Under Lake Mead's Water Resting in the murky depths of Lake Mead is a piece of American history. A B-29 superfortress crashed during a top-secret test flight in 1948. It's now at the bottom of the Overton arm of the country's largest reservoir. Lake Mead's smooth, glass-like surface reflected the sun back up into the cockpit. This made the pilot lose his sense of depth and crash the plane at about 230 miles per hour into the surface of the lake. Three of the plane's four engines were ripped off by the impact, and the plane skidded across the surface like a flat stone. After about a half mile, when it finally stopped skipping, it began to sink. After the crash, somehow neither the pilot nor the crew were seriously hurt, and everyone was able to escape the sinking plane on life rafts. After the wreck was found, the NPS used a remote-controlled submersible to check on its condition and send divers down to the site to do another check. When it went down in 1948, the wreckage was about 300 feet underwater. Since then, the lake has been going down, but the drive is still tricky. It's about 110 feet below the surface right now, but it may soon be entirely visible. What other treasures are lurking beneath our lakes and canals? Have you ever found anything cool in a body of water? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.